Yo, what's up? It's Cameron from Pray for Sleep, and you are listening to Bod's Mayhem Hour. Welcome to Bod's Mayhem Hour. Your source for all hard rock, heavy metal, new metal, alternative, punk, horror punk, hardcore, rock, and all local bands. With your host, John the Bod, a.k.a. The Bodfather. Hey everybody, welcome to Bod's Mayhem Hour. I'm your host, John the Bod, a.k.a. The Bod Father. And as always, I'm bringing you guys awesome interviews. And today it is an honor and privilege to have the band Pray for Sleep. We're going to be talking to them about their debut self-titled EP, Pray for Sleep, out now. And two of these guys just graduated high school and they played rock on the range instead of going to their graduation, which I think, fucking hey, that's what I would have done too. I just said, fuck that. I'm going to work <laughs> on a range. So how's it going, guys? We're good. We're good. How are Doing you? Awesome. Doing awesome. Glad to have you on here. And uh, congratulations of all this success here just starting out. That That's that's pretty pretty Thank awesome so for a young band right now. Thank you so much. It's awesome. Man. How's it feel to win the 99.7 WKRX Battle for the Range to earn a spot to play on this year's Rock on the Range that just passed? So let's talk about that a little bit. How many bands were they actually on this? So there was 10 to start for the like first round and then basically the fans voted for the top five then the top five played at the Bethel Road pub and we came out on top at the end of the night it was a combination of judges and fan voting it was about one third was the fan vote and we came out on top it was honestly it was crazy to even find out we were in the top 10 so it was an awesome experience for us What's impressed you guys the most about making this new, well, debut EP? What's caught your eye about it the most, if anything, possibly? I mean, with this new EP, we definitely tested out, like, all the sounds we could and see what would sound best. We got our producer, Will Carlson, he knows what he's doing. Respect to that guy. Yeah, we just wanted to pump out five songs so we could just do as much as we, could, as, much as, we can with it. And uh, we got all these opportunities, and, you know, we're just trying to do the best with what we got and... uh I feel like it's working out so far, so yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> How long did it, did it take to record this EP? We've been writing for over a year. The EP itself probably took, what, from like, it took like half a year. Like from the beginning of the year, we, we just recorded like a single, and then we cut the single, and then just went for the EP, and uh, went for that raw sound, and just pumped up those five songs. So I'd say probably probably half a year. So why go the EP route and not just say, okay, look, okay, look, look, let's just go ahead and just do a couple more songs and do a full album. Did it just make sense just to go ahead and put out the EP, then do an album later? Yeah. So that's, that had like a lot of like meeting together and trying to figure out what we were going to do with that. But we figure with like our budget being as low as it was at the time and still kind of is because we're still a band that's beginning and everything. We thought that doing the five songs were at least get us enough time to open for bands and kind of get our foot in the door with like recording and everything. So I think that was the best option for us at the time. But I mean, who knows, we could be doing more songs in the future, hopefully do a full album pretty soon. So we're really excited to share that with everyone. So it's awesome. For for each of you, and I know this is like picking your favorite collectible or Maybe you got kids now. I don't know. Maybe who knows. Uh, <laughs> but are there any songs <laughs> off this yeah. album that uh, stand out more to you than any on as of right now? I mean, I know this may change from day to day, but are there any that sticks out for each of you guys? I would say for me, the biggest song right now is Hardcore Insomnia. When it comes to like fan response, that has the most like listens on Spotify and everything. But I'd say personally, like playing live, I'd say Lost on My Own is the most fun because... It's the quote-unquote heaviest song we have. It's the opener. Gets everyone kind of hyped for the rest of the set. So that's my favorite, probably. Yeah, I'd probably have to agree. I think Hardcore Insomnia just brings everything together. (laughs) And Nails kind of has the more emotional, you know, sad stuff, I guess you could say. But Hardcore Insomnia takes the whole EP and kind of smashes it into one song. So it's uh, probably the most colorful. Now, you guys mentioned you worked with producer Will Carlson on this. How was working with him? Did he just let you guys do your own thing to step in when he needed to? How hard did he push you all on this? Yeah, I mean, we were a new band, so there were some things we had to learn what to and not to do. But (laughs) for the most part, 
he just let us be creative and then if something didn't necessarily go right he would correct us on it obviously being a producer but for the most part just kind of letting us be colorful and uh doing our doing our own thing and obviously if we needed help he he would help us and he's awesome like that so have you guys had a lot of advice from other bands you know especially like at rock on a range or even previous before that has anybody like reached out to you guys or one that you played a show with to give you some advice possibly we've gotten to know david puckett from we came as romans a little bit he's personally been like very helpful helpful to us with making connections and giving advice on kind of how to get things started because he's you know got lots of experience with different bands so those guys have been really cool being a young band how much growth have you seen this band go through musically since the formation or has it just been more of a personal growth for each of you guys so in the very very beginning it was really just me and hayden playing together trying to figure out okay how many different people do we need to find for this band and then once cam came in it changed even more so we all kind of had our own ideas of where we wanted the band to go at first but when we did the ep that definitely helped us get like our sound of what we're going for and we can you know go a lot of ways with it which is what we were going for with the ep but i'd say once we had the full, at least the three of us, and then obviously Grant coming in a few months ago, that's helped us a lot to get on the same page. And now that we are on the same page, doing more songs from now on is going to be a lot easier because we know what we're going for. Are you guys writing on anything right now? Any new stuff possibly in the in the works? You know, we're always writing, always got new ideas flowing as far as when we will release anything that is uh, confidential. But... <laughs> uh, <laughs> We're we're definitely always writing, always putting down ideas. So, why can fans expect that a show from Pray for Sleep have not got to see you guys as of yet? I would say we bring a lot of energy when we play, and we try to engage the audience as much as we possibly can through our show. So we try to like talk to fans before and after, but even just on the stage, we try to get everyone engaged. You know, even small stuff like getting everyone clapping, things like that. We have a really good stage presence for a newer band and we're always working on that obviously but when people do come and see us our goal is to give them the best show that they've seen to that point so that's always our goal every single time to give people an awesome experience whether they are into our quote-unquote style of music or not being a younger band and since it's the digital era that we're that we're living in now of recording albums or plus social media do you like this that we're in right now of getting albums out quicker and plus even social media to reach out to more fans? Yeah, having social media is actually really awesome because instead of having to pump out like posters and just hanging them up all around town and getting people to talk about us that way, we can just simply like create a post and then pump it out whenever we like. So it's it's really nice, actually. We welcome this new day and age of technology. <laughs> In your own opinion, guys, what does Pray for Sleep bring to the table for music that's not out there, possibly? And I'm not knocking anybody, you know, anybody's music out there. I just want to know what does this band bring differently to the table? I would say our goal with the music is to kind of blend genres together. So with our choruses and some of the verses, we went more of a, like, pop route or, like, pop rock route. So that's more appealing to more people. And then we still have the heavy breakdowns in each song. So we want to kind of get the heavier group as well as the more like pop orient oriented group to like our stuff. Like we want every, everyone to have either a song or parts of songs that they like, regardless of what music they listen to normally. What is the expectations of this band as of right now? Have you guys got some high expectations or setting expectations or goals? I mean, we want to go as far as we can with this. Our, I mean, have, getting the opportunity to play rock on the range and get that, that much exposure this early on in the life of the band is pretty huge so that kind of raises expectations a little bit we're definitely looking to take this this music as far as we can i want to talk to you guys about that a little bit i want to get this in here before the interviews are with i mean for a young band like this man you guys what 18 19 20 yeah. something like that yeah. fuck I yeah mean, 18 21. I mean, fuck, playing playing Rock on the Range at that age, t tell me how, what type of experience was that? I mean, it was everything you'd think it'd be. I mean, it was just crazy, like, surreal experience. Our fourth show ever being at America's biggest rock festival. I mean, right when we entered the competition, like, 
we didn't have high hopes at all because we had entered festivals beforehand and always got shot down. And finally the blitz was like, you know, whatever, going to take a chance on us and ended up making top 10. And then once we knew we won, we were all just like, holy crap, guys, we're about to play rock on the range for our fourth show ever. And then once we got there, everybody, I mean, rock on the range treated us very well. Like, it was just so – it was awesome. It was awesome. Has any of you guys attended Rock on the Range prior to this, just as fans? <laughs> I have attended Rock on the Range, but not as a fan. I Papa Roach last year uh, reached out to my high school's marching band, which I was in, and they wanted us to play a little a song with them, Born for Greatness, mm-hmm. and um, I got to play main stage with them. I had to get the pleasure to play main stage with them. And, um, yeah, that was crazy <laughs> For, that was like the first big show I've ever played, and it was like 60,000 people. So, Jesus. Um, yeah, I, that's not my first rodeo, but <laughs> I've never been there as a fan. <laughs> so now you got one up Kinda on crazy. the other guys. Like, I played it twice, guys. What about you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's cool to talk about, you know. For each of you, what made you want to become a musician? What was that spark that said, yeah, that's what I want to do? You know, Santa Claus got me a uh, guitar for my ninth, uh, or I was nine at the time, and uh, it was Christmas, you know, and I just picked it up, and my dad showed me some Jack White, and yeah, I just learned a lot of his songs, and just kind of went on from there, so. Oh, yeah, I've always loved music, just as a whole, the, just the the art form of music, getting to express, like, emotions and, and thought processes and things like that. So it's always been a huge part of my life. I learned piano when I was like eight years old and went on to guitar when I was 11. And so it's always just been a big part of my life and something I've really enjoyed. I'd say for me, my dad and my mom, both being musicians since I was born and before, got me into music. My dad played drums as well. So when people ask me, like when I started to play drums, I can't really give them a set answer since he's basically been teaching me since I was able to understand what it was. So my dad has helped me a lot being a musician and my mom is a singer and plays piano and has like a bachelor's degree in music. So she has helped me of more the uh, like technique side. My dad's helped me with drums as a whole. And it's been really awesome to have parents that are supportive since they've been down the same road as me. Yeah. Uh, And then for me, I just, before I was even born, just, my dad's always been playing the saxophone and piano and stuff. So growing up in a more jazz filled house, you know, like Louis Armstrong and Glenn Miller, like those were my, those were my go-tos. I, I loved jazz. And then I, you know, got into high school. And I went to like my first rock concert and really just, I felt it in me to just pursue that. And uh, I ended up getting with the guys and we made it happen. So it was pretty awesome. I just like to say the self EP that you guys have out is is pretty nice, pretty nice for a young band. So, thank you. So much. <laughs> thank you. So kudos on that, and kudos for Rock on a Range, man. That's a damn. That's a that's a good <laughs> feat, man. Honestly, seriously. Thank you so much. How can folks stay in touch with you guys? Buy the CP tour dates, tickets, <clears throat> anything you guys got going on. How can you do that? So we do have a website. It's just prayforsleep dot com, and that has all of our info on it. So you can get to all of our social medias. But if you want to just look up the social medias themselves, they're all Pray for Sleep Band, all one word. Except for Twitter, it's Pray for Sleep BND because there's not enough room, unfortunately. But we have all social media. And then our EP is on everything like Apple Music, Spotify, Google Play, everything. So you can look that up and uh, download that. And then just be watching the social media for when we do release new stuff. So. Before I let you guys go, would one of you care to do a promo for the show? Of course. Yo, what's up? It's Cameron from Pray for Sleep, and you are listening to Bod Mayhem Hour. Everybody stick around. We got some great, great music coming up, and you only hear these interviews right here on Bod's Mayhem Hour and Bod's Mayhem Radio Network. Thank you guys so, so much, and the best of luck to you guys. Thank you. Thank you you so much. It's been a pleasure, mate. 